Good morning. I hope we're keeping well. We're now on week three of lockdown and, and this is now the jumper series. So this is lesson eight in the series. And of course, it's lesson three in the key of C. I've chosen this morning to do uh, Hi-Ho Silver Lining by Jeff Beck. Um, it was recorded, would you believe, in 1967, a long, long time ago. It, it has really four or five chords in it. You need a C, you'll need the F, you'll need a B flat, which I know a lot of you find difficult, and you'll need a G7, and there is a C7 in there as well. What I'm gonna encourage you to do, if you look at the music down below, is can you try and play the, what I call C version two, which is one finger across, on the third fret, across the first two strings, the next finger goes onto the third string on the fourth fret, and of course the third finger goes on the fifth fret and onto the fourth string. It's like a B flat which is there and it's slid down. So it's quite a tricky one, and when you actually play, it's quite, I like this because you can give it a bit of welly, technical term, right, you ready? That sort of idea. The downstroke throughout the song is this downstroke all the time, okay? So it's there. You got that? Just try that while I'm doing this, okay? You got it? Go to F. Okay? So that's the feel all the way through. So downstroke on the chords, try and use the complicated version or more complicated version of C. It's called a shape, which we have talked about before. And incidentally, there is an instrumental section towards the end of the song, which you'll see in a minute if you look at the music. And it is really the chords that are on the verse. So I put the verse in there, but it is instrumental when Jeff Beck sings. So are you ready? Smile. I hope it's in tune. This has got a slow start. It builds. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Can you hear me, mother? C. Complicated if you can. Downstroke. Hear that? C. F. B flat. Thank you. 
seven and C two three four five. So that's high hope silver lining in the key of C with a complicated version of F there, but I'm sure you can do it. Now some of you can obviously play the bass on that. And, and others, if you fancy trying to work the melody out for the instrumental bit, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? OK, look after yourselves. Please keep, keep safe and hopefully you'll be ready for the next lesson. OK, take care. Bye.